Continuously compounded interest is one of the more interesting examples of calculus being used in the real world. It comes up in a lot of personal finance type problems. Fun stuff, right? <laughs> well, what if you wanted to figure out exactly how long it would take for your money to double in a certain investment with compound interest? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to solve for time in the compound interest formula to figure out how long it'll take you to double your money with continuously compounded interest. So let's just jump right into it. So here's the problem we're gonna be going over today. How long will it take an investment to double in value if the interest rate is 6% compounded continuously? And I've already gone ahead and jotted down the formula for continuous compound interest, which is one of the formulas on my integral calculus cheat sheet. Uh, if you want to check that out, there is a link down in the description where you can get more info and go grab yourself a copy. But I wanted to show you how to use that formula. And specifically, I wanted to show you how to solve for the time in this type of an equation. So that's why we're doing this problem. So when you're trying to figure out how much time it'll take for an investment or you know, for interest to accrue to a certain amount with continuously compounded interest, you pretty much want to use this formula and you want to plug in the pieces that you know uh, or that are given to you and then you can solve for time. So you know, pretty much what that's going to look like is we're going to use this formula here which tells us the value of our investment at time t which depends on our initial value. So a sub zero is just the initial amount of money that's in it. E is always gonna be E, it's like 2.7. R is the interest rate, and then T is the amount of time that's passed. So this is kind of a deceiving question because obviously it doesn't tell you how much money you start with. All it says is we wanna figure out how long it takes for our money to double. Well, the interesting thing about continuously compounded interest, or really any type of exponential growth and decay problem, is that the amount of money in this account is gonna grow at a rate that is proportional to the amount of money in the account. So all that is to say really that the amount of time it takes to double is not going to matter whether we have $1 in this account, $1,000 or a million dollars. We can pick any amount to put into this account initially. So let's just say that we're putting in $1,000 for example's sake, and that is going to be our initial amount of money that we're putting into this account or into this investment. It doesn't matter what we actually pick. What's important is we're trying to figure out the amount of time it takes for this to double. So if we're starting with 1,000, we wanna figure out how long it takes to get up to 2,000. And then we're still gonna have this E here. Again, that's a constant. Our R, or the R in this equation, is the interest rate, which is just gonna be taking this 6% interest and converting it into a decimal, which is gonna be 0 0.06. And then T is the thing we're trying to solve for. So obviously we're not going to be able to plug in something for that. So the reason why it doesn't matter what you pick your starting value to be is the first step in solving for T here is going to be to divide both sides of our equation by a thousand. And you can see when we do that, the left side of our equation started out as just being twice as much as this initial value that we started with. So no matter what you put for your starting value, we put a thousand, as long as you put double that over here to start with, after you divide it over, you're just going to simplify down to 2 equals e to the 0.06t. Right, so no matter what we put there, that's how that's going to end up working out. Now, to get this t out of the power, we can just take the natural log of both sides and then divide by 0.06. And that tells us that our t is going to be about 11.55 years. And that's how long we would expect it to take to double our investment at 6% interest compounded continuously. If it's making a little more sense to you now, please go ahead and hit that like button. And don't let YouTube decide which problems you get to learn how to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so you make sure to catch all my videos. And I'll help you get your grades up all term long. If you want to see some more exponential growth and decay problems, go ahead and click over there on the left side of your screen. Thanks and see you next time.